Hey, it's Terry from Everything Homestead. I've got my wood shed I started working on yesterday. I started digging some post holes. It's not going to be a huge wood shed, probably eight foot deep by, I believe it's 24 feet wide, maybe eight feet tall. I'll show you some of the things I got started here. It's going to take a while to get through this project, but let me switch this around and I'll show you. Okay, so right now I've got my pickup backed up to the work site kind of putting this building up against the woods. Here's the wood stack I've had in the last couple of years. I just covered it with plastic and I'd like to get it under a roof. So right behind here, I'm gonna to try to construct this woodshed without having to move everything. I had a auger machine in here yesterday. My son and I worked on digging the eight holes here. There's two corners over there. Right here, over here, I have to dig by hand and clean out the holes because some of them had the dirt fall back in, but it's going pretty well so far. So I got this going on. I have some posts left over that I'm going to drop in from an old deck. I think they're from. Posts are still good, so I'm going to use them. So I'll keep getting some updates here as we go along. Okay, here we are. We got the post in the ground. I just gotta take the next step and put the roof on, put some side panels for the walls on, and I'm oh, just kidding. Holy cow, I got more OCD than that. I just set the post in the holes. Run into a little bit of an issue. I obviously don't know what I'm doing because I put these, these boards too close to the hole I was digging. I knew that when I was digging the holes, but I did have my holes marked, but then I put the strings back up. These strings are supposed to be pretty exact as far as where this post is gonna be. It should be right into that notch. But for some dumb reason, when I stand this post up in the hole I made all the way to the edge and I screwed up. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I have no idea how I screwed that up so badly, but it's not on all of them, but probably three of them I have to go back and just shave off the edge of the hole and I'll get it fixed. But I've got uh, the greenhouse people coming in the next day or two to start digging the, the hole for that and pouring some cement. And that is a project I really have to get after. So unfortunately, I'm gonna try to get these posts um, straightened up and set in place but this project here might have to wait a little bit until I get that greenhouse done that's a project that greenhouse is a project that I have to get enclosed and I'd like to get that done before the snow flies so I'll keep you updated on this project when I get back at it catch you later okay I guess one more thing I'm going to show you when you set a post in the ground I have it right where I want I have it flush with this string on this side and that string on this side all at the same time I have a post level installed and as you can see that bubble is right on that bubble pretty much right on so that's what I'm looking for it is a woodshed so right on is perfect enough for me but this is the same technique I would use if I were bearing a wood fence post uh, for a barbed wire fence or anything like that. So I get it where I want it. I start backfilling some dirt with my shovel. Turn the shovel around and I use the handle and I tamp it, pack it in tight like this around the base of the post. That helps make everything extremely solid back here. About every four, five, six inches of fill, I stop and I do this again. All the way up to the top and when I get flush with the ground, this thing is solid as a rock. Just thought maybe you'd want to see a little bit of that process. <laughs> 